Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Shire and this is week 8 of season 5 of hopefully 60 seasons. So uh, if you're new to the channel, uh, hello. <laughs> uh, trying to take ECU to a 60 year dynasty, maybe not ECU. Uh, I did sign a 7 year contract extension uh, during the off season. So we are ranked number seven as well. This is where we end up last year. We were number seven, won the AAC, and went into the Fiesta Bowl, but lost against Miami. So we ended up beating Navy uh, last week. We're going to be playing UConn this week. Just want to show everybody, man, oh, over in Georgia Tech beat <laughs> Notre Dame in overtime. Oh, man. Oh, wow. Um, but, yeah, just – Going over the top 25, I like to do this at the beginning of the videos. Um, if you guys want to see something different, let me know. Um, also, I'm going to go ahead and show uh, the Heisman because we have a surprise entrant in the Heisman voting. Look at that. Oh, Mark Ginn making it into the Heisman voting. Our senior star running back broke so many records. Uh, didn't get over a thousand yards last year, but that's all right. Look at the touchdowns. He's already on pace to break. He's gotten 13, 13, 14. He has 13 and we're only in week eight right now. So he's just a stud. He's just, he's got a 75 yard, uh, the longest one, uh, missed that last game, but I played the, um, played the replay of that. So, uh, averaging 121 yards. And just so many broken tackles. Uh, taking over some receptions. Uh, I don't really use him out of the backfield that much as a receiver, but he does have really good hands. So we're going to be keeping a very close eye on that as the season develops. Uh, very, very happy for him. Uh, recruited Mark uh, at the beginning. There. Oh, Yannick Ngakwe. I forgot he played for UConn here. Uh, Woods, Concepcion, and Pittman. But, yeah, again... Man, super, super happy for him. Also trying to really work hard into getting Corey Hollis uh, drafted as well. So trying to get him the Blitnikoff this year if we can. And hopefully we can get, uh, again, the Walker. That was my thought. Just the best running back. But hopefully we can get him a Heisman here. Uh, showing the American East standings. Uh, we're on top. 2-0. and oh. We're playing UConn, so hopefully we can get to 3-0 and oh and 6-0 and oh overall. But I'm going to pass it off to the guys in the booth. I will see you guys in a little bit. All right, bye. of the world. Hartford, Connecticut is the site for today's game. And now it's time for the coin toss. And it's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste, zero calorie. Enjoy everything. So we get the ball back again. <laughs> we get the ball, bar to ball to start. Surprise, surprise. So 600 yards, 13 touchdowns by our man Gen. Uh I can't believe that we're number seven. I can't believe that he is in the Heisman running. Um, that's just crazy to me. Look at that burst. Is, what is going on there? Ran 18 yards to get one. <laughs> um, but yeah, our man, Mark Ginn, man, what a journey this guy's been on. Um, I really do feel like as well that, uh, uh, Nick Pace no longer being on the team. If you guys have been following along, Nick Pace, uh, from Ohio, our offensive coordinator went to Ohio, uh, Miami of Ohio, and uh, Nick went with him. So uh, opened up a little bit more. Jose Mason hasn't really been playing too well, so we've been getting uh, Mark the ball a little bit more, and it looks like it's been paying off a lot. So I am trying so hard to get Leon Jones a freaking sack. <laughs> it's just insane. I'm blitzing him like every single, <laughs> every single play there. Um, but there we go, Rodgers. Oh, strips there. Come on, Rodgers. Our defense 
is just, it, I mean, it's just immaculate. We got Rodgers, Myers, uh, Mumford, Rudy Duty. We got Leon Jones, uh, Pittman, uh, Simmons. Man, who else am I leaving out? But we just got a bunch of studs. Look at their Rodgers again. And then, oh, come on, Mills. Kevin Mills. Oh, man. What was it? Last last week or two weeks ago, he almost had that interception, but we got that bogus call against us. Uh, but anyway, 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 anyway. Um, hopefully you guys have been enjoying these videos. It's been a lot of fun uh, for me doing these. Um, and we're going towards the end of the season as well. So we're eight games in. Oh, come on, Corey. The kid from the Lou, the kid from the Lou, 15-yard reception there. Really want this guy. I mean, he's already the leading uh, touchdown and receptions. Come on, Mason. There we go. Jose Mason getting on the board. We just need to get him the receptions and hopefully break some national records as well. But he's going to go down as probably the best wide receiver that we've ever had in Pirates. Is another strip sack? Oh, my Lord. Tim Boyle, what are you doing, my man? Um but, yeah, he's probably going to go down as the best. Was that McCormick? McCormick, that's who I forgot about. Um, but, yeah, Corey Hollis, going to miss him, going to miss Ginn. Uh, hopefully Chad uh, ends up staying for his junior year. Oh, my God, he might stay for that. Fourth and 22. Man, we were just messing up there. Uh, since he is, oh, Xavier Smith, or is that Kelvin Smith? Either way. He is gone, baby. <laughs> Picks it. Yeah, Xavier. There we go. Xavier Smith, Tim Boyle playing like absolute trash right now. We're up big, up by 21 in Connecticut. Man, man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Looking pretty good for East Carolina this season. Really enjoying this. And I up the difficulty. That's why I'm getting sacked a little bit more, um, you know. It is what it is, though. Every time I play UConn, though, they do play us pretty tough on defense. Uh, I will give it that. I think, too, uh, Yannick Ngakwe being on there. Corey Hollis just got absolutely leveled, but held down to the ball. He's tough. Um, then Mark again. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, the UConn plays us pretty tough, though, so um, I don't expect us to put, like, 50 on them or anything. I've been get, Man, get another sack, why don't you? Good Lord. There's Yannick right there, yep. <laughs> uh, I used to like, uh, when I lived in Jacksonville, playing as the Jaguars, I used to, oh, no, Chad. Chad. Uh, well, Troy Smith's coming in at quarterback, the lefty. He gets it off to Goss, our new tight end, uh, taking over for Darren Dowdell. So Troy Smith, hey, you know, not, very, not much of a downgrade. I mean, he doesn't have the arm. Uh, accuracy like Chad, but he's got the legs. Look at that 10 yard rush. Uh, so hopefully Chad isn't injured too bad. We do have to deal with this a lot. That's one thing why I would think that Chad would be back next year. Um, even though he is a 94 overall, there we go. Oh, Mark again with the spin move, the washing machine, <laughs> 22 yards. Um, but, yeah, we always have to deal with injuries with Chad. Uh, so hopefully, you know, maybe maybe if he stays next year or maybe, you know, depending on the injury. Oh, I'm just talking over this great run by Ginn. Come on, Ginn, break it through. There we go. Mark Ginn getting it done. Heisman. Oh, he wants that Heisman. <laughs> the Pirates the Pirates juiced up for this. So, um how long was that? 50 yarder? 50 yarder? He already had a 75 yarder earlier, but uh, or last uh, last game. So looks like Troy Smith is going to be in the game for a little while. Parker, I want those pictures of Spider Man. Parker, Michael Parker, freshman out of Virginia, six three, big time receiver. Hopefully he's going to be really good for us because uh, we are going to have like three four wide receivers leaving. Uh, we're going into the fourth quarter, though, 35-10. to 10. Uh, Boyle not playing his best football uh, for uh, the Huskies here. But looks like we're doing pretty good. We're going to hand it off to Ginn. He's going to get a touchdown. Why not? Why not just break every record? <laughs> uh, we ended up scoring again. They scored again. 
we're just going to go ahead and run the clock out with, okay, Jose Mason doesn't know if he wants to do it or not. <laughs> 31 yard. He says, I need some stats here. Uh, but that'll do it. We'll run the clock out. I'll let these highlights play, and uh, I'll see you guys in a little bit. They have to enjoy this guy while they've got him because somewhere down the line he's going to be at the next level. Well, that'll definitely be in his future, but for now he needs to sit back and just enjoy this performance and, and really the play caller, the quarterback, the offensive line, the receivers, the entire group as, as, as just a whole should feel good about their performance. For EA Sports and Kirk Herb Street, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time. All right, so going into the stats, uh, looks like Troy Smith had one touchdown. Uh, big time, big time quarterback too, six five out of Florida. So didn't really pass too much with him. Gave the ball mostly to again. You know, playing a little bit smart. Uh, over a hundred yards. Jose Mason got a touchdown as well. Troy got that nice touchdown, but he got sacked a ton. So. Uh, you know, it is what it is. Corey didn't really get many yards there. Probably going to hurt him a little bit uh, in the Belitnikov, but hopefully we can have a good uh, game with him. But, uh, yeah, if you made it all the way to this point in the video, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you guys, uh, you know, supporting the channel, watching the videos, um, you know, helps out. Smaller, smaller channel, not as great at editing or anything like that, but... Uh, hopefully we can get some more stuff going on. So, uh, leave me a comment, you know, if you're looking for anything specific or, you know, just cheering on the team. So, uh, I'll see you guys in the next one should be really good. More AAC play in a bit. See ya.